Hey guys, Mike from Epic Duck Studios here, and today I want to show you a really sweet project I'm going to be working on. This is a big bag of Forge World. What's in the big bag, you might ask? A lot of resin. And you might be wondering what all that resin is supposed to make. Tau Orca Dropship. That's right. This bad boy is the hull of a Tau Dropship. This thing is huge. It'll actually transport six battle suits, a full squad of gun drones, and two full squads of fire warriors into battle. But there's also a new variant in the new Imperial Armor book that will actually transport a group of XV9s. So you've been watching my other videos, you know I've painted a few XV9s lately, so you can probably guess who commissioned this. One really cool thing about this kit is it actually comes with the parts to make six battle suits and all the gun drones that would sit inside here. So you can actually have it fully equipped. And you'll see there's actually a row of chairs down each side where the fire warriors will sit. On top of that, it actually comes with seated fire warriors. So there's actually a whole bunch of fire warrior models that come with this, but they're actually sitting down. So you can't really use them as fire warriors, but you could if you're also going to be using this to transport XV9s. You could take those seated fire warriors and then use them in your devil fish or other things to just give them a little flavor. So you can see there's a lot of sprue material on these. Some of them not so much, but like these tabs need to come off, I believe. We're going to follow the instructions, obviously. And there's a lot of really small bits in here. There's also some really cool fluff pieces. This is a rack of pulse carbines and pulse rifles that would just go in there for the fire warriors to use. If you didn't want to use this in an orca, you could use it to add a little flavor to a devilfish or another similar piece. So I'm going to do a video log of the assembly of this piece. I'm not going to have you follow around with me step by step while I assemble the whole thing because there's just too many steps. What I am going to do is I'm going to recap every once in a while how different stages are going. The first stage is going to be cleaning up the mold lines, getting rid of the pieces of sprue, and washing off the resin so it'll glue together properly. That's going to take me quite a while here and it's really the most boring and easy step so I'm not even going to show you that one. So you're going to come back to a bunch of these pieces ready to put together and I'll probably start by putting the main chassis together, assuming that's what the instructions say. I haven't actually read the assembly instructions yet. So I'm going to follow the instructions step by step, just like the instructions from Forge World, because I don't want to make any mistakes here. I want this to be perfect. The only thing we're changing is we're not putting in the battle suits, and we're not putting in the fire warriors, and we're not putting in the gun drones, because this is specifically going to be used to transport XV9s in the game. We're also going to add one piece to it. The XV9 variant, I'm not sure about the original Tau Orca. I don't have the Imperial Armor book with me at the moment. But there is a rule for the x variant that allows it to be equipped with four Seeker Missiles. So I have four regular Tau Seeker Missiles, the ones from the Devil Fish kits and the other Tau Vehicle kits. So we're going to be building a custom piece for each side of this just to support the Seeker Missiles. And there's one other really cool part about this model, is that the cockpit actually doubles as an escape pod for the pilot. You can see it's actually got some small jet packs on the back, and there's a piece that goes over the top to make it more secure. So once you put the pilot in here, he actually has a means of escape, which is kind of cool. There is also a custom ethereal model that comes with the Orca specifically. This model actually gets seated inside the command center. So there's two detailed areas we're going to be focusing on with our painting inside this Orca. The cockpit, which needs to be removable as well so it can function as the escape device. And the command center, which is where we have the ethereal and a couple fire warriors standing around just directing a battle basically. There's a whole lot of very large TV type screens in that command center, so we're going to make them look really cool, make it look like they're following an ongoing battle. This whole kit is quite heavy. I don't have the exact number, but I believe this weighs in somewhere around 15 pounds. So this has been Epic Duck Mike, and this is the Tau Orca vlog number one. Number two should be most of this ready to assemble, and we'll go through the first bit of the assembly. This is an awesome project. I'm really excited to be working on this. If you have a Wargany project you'd like some help with, whether you need someone to paint it for you, assemble it, magnetize it, convert it, or kind of do a little bit of everything, visit epicduckstudios.com slash welcome.